Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ronald Osumba, a Kenyan, a father, a husband, a son, a friend, and a young person who has a great vision for this country. Today, with much humility, I respond to a national call of duty as I humbly accept the nomination to be Honorable Peter Kenneth's running mate. I share with you the words of Anne Frank, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Like many Kenyans, I have spent endless hours on pointless chatter, complaining about our leadership, but doing little about it. But now I am tired, tired of simply chattering in the background. I am tired of waiting to vote for the right leader. I am tired of choosing the lesser evil to lead my country. I know what my country deserves, and I want to be that person together with Peter Kenneth for my country. My own experiences have informed the bold decision I make here today. As Peter said, I was born in the humble Kibera, in a family of six. My parents struggled through thick and through thick and thin, to cater for us. And often, they'd remind me and my siblings that we were the leaders of tomorrow. We belonged to tomorrow. Our time had not yet come. Our small radio echoed a similar message. But as I grew older, I realized that our world worried a lot about what young people will become tomorrow failing to realize that these young people can make a big difference today. Our country has been bearing the burden of a political disorder that seems to follow a similar script. But we have been held captive by the unending games played at the detriment of our beloved nation. We are slowly sinking into the bottomless ploys of leaders who care very little about the issues of Kenya. Like you, I want a new direction for my nation. In particular, I am passionate and determined to ensure that every able-bodied Kenyan has the opportunity to make a living. <coughs> this is the path to a decent society. Employment is a critical link between poverty reduction and economic growth. Our investment in education must be aligned with skills development that responds to the needs of the labor market. I have been involved in the reform process through the youth movement, and the promulgation of the Constitution was an important milestone for us as a nation. The robust Bill of Rights is the avenue through which every Kenyan can enjoy fundamental political, economic, and social rights. Kenyans' dreams must now become a reality. Every child must have a chance to live beyond the age of five. Every family must own a decent home that protects their dignity. Every worker must obtain a fair remuneration. Every registered voter must freely vote for the leader of their choice. These are the issues that will keep me awake, that will wake me up every morning. The integrity of our leaders is directly proportional to our success as a nation. Corruption and impunity will have no place in our administration. We must be tough on corruption. The whole spectrum of law, enforcement, and administration of justice, encompassing the judiciary, the police, public prosecution, legal aid, and access to justice will remain a priority area for continued reform, increased resources, and capacity building. Ladies and gentlemen, a good leader is one who is born out of the understanding of the needs of those whom he leads. He is one who is committed to translating the vision he has into reality. He is one who is committed to providing level-headed solutions to existing problems. I bring to you this kind of leadership. Peter Kenneth and I and the Eagle Coalition represent a new way of leadership that is founded 
on integrity, service, and a spirit of excellence through interactions with many Kenyans. Jeff, for example, who is a graduate carpenter in Kangemi. Odongo, who is an entrepreneur turning hyacinth of Lake Victoria into paper. And Mama Halima, who is educating tens of children in Pangani. We are convicted that there is hope for a new way. Ladies and gentlemen, I am done waiting for tomorrow. I am sure you are as well. I am done living as a youth at the brink of hopelessness. I want to take an active role in setting off these important sparks that will move this country forward. I want to be part of the revolutionary and transformational leadership that Peter Kenneth represents. He is a man whose track records needs no more trumpeting because it speaks for itself. This is a man I choose to stand by. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless Kenya. <laughs> Two